If I had a thousand tongues I would sing with everyone Voices like a mountain song Sing you are my only one Oh my, oh my, oh my days Life is wonderful Life is wonderful Never understood But life can be this good Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Topher Leon, and I am pleased to serve as Master of Ceremonies as we honor Troop 313 Scout Jarrett Richard for attaining Scouting's highest rank, the Eagle Scout Award. This is a great moment worthy of celebration. Now please rise for the invocation presented by Brett Comiskey. God, we thank you for the opportunity to come together as family, friends, leaders, and fellow scouts on this significant day in the life of Jared. Today is a celebration of a journey, a journey full of challenges, friendship, struggles, and occasionally a little fun. Today, we think of all the merit badges earned along the way, the oaths committed to, the character this young man developed, and the service to our community he worked so hard to bring about. Little by little, month by month, and year by year, he was faithful, and we celebrate his faith, commitment, and hard work. Amen. Please remain standing. Sorry. <laughs> um, please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. Scout salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Tip. Please use the scout sign and join me in saying the scout oath. On my honor, I will do my best to do my duty to God and my country and to obey the scout law, to help other people at all times, to keep myself physically strong, mentally awake, and morally straight. And now the scout law. A scout is trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, kind, obedient, cheerful, thrifty, brave, clean, and reverent. Thank you. You may be seated. I now call on Troop 313 Scoutmaster Rick Rains to officially convene this court of honor. By the power vested in me by the National Council of the Boy Scouts of America, I declare this court of honor to be duly convened for the sole purpose of presenting the Eagle Scout Award to Jarrett Matthew Richard. When a boy becomes a Boy Scout, there is within him something that we call the spirit of scouting. This single lighted candle before you is a traditional way to represent that spirit. By itself, the light may appear small and feeble, but when you multiply this light to represent the more than three and a half million boys in scouting around the world, it is very powerful indeed and can provide light to much more than the boys who kindle it. The spirit of scouting embodies the scout oath and law, and so we shall now light the candles before us with the spirit of scouting candle. The scout law has 
its 12 parts, and each of them is as vital to the building of a strong character as the next. A scout is trustworthy. A scout tells the truth. He keeps his promises. Honesty is a vital part of his personal code of conduct. A scout is loyal. A scout is true to his friends, family, scout leaders, school, community, nation, and his fellow human beings around the world. A scout is helpful. A scout is concerned about other people. He enjoys volunteering to help others without payment or reward. A scout is friendly. A scout is a friend to all and a brother to every other scout. He seeks to understand others. He respects those with ideas or customs different to, from his own. A scout is courteous. A scout is polite to everyone, regardless of their age or position. He knows that good manners make it easier for people to get along together. A scout is kind. A scout understands that there is strength in being gentle. He treats others as he wants to be treated himself. He does not harm or kill anything without a good reason. A scout is obedient. A scout follows the rules of his family, school, and troop. He obeys the laws of his community and country. If he thinks that these rules and laws are unfair, he tries to have them changed in an orderly manner rather than disobeying them. A scout is obedient. A scout follows the rules of his family. <laughs> a scout is cheerful. A scout looks for the higher, brighter side of life. He cheerfully does tasks that come his way. He tries to make others happy. A scout is thrifty. A scout works to pay his own way and to help others. He saves for the future. He protects and conserves natural resources. He uses time and property with great care. A scout is brave. A scout can face danger even if he is afraid. He has the courage to stand for what he thinks is right, even if others laugh at him or threaten him. A scout is clean. A scout keeps his mind and body fit and clean. He goes around with others who do the same. He helps, he helps keep his home and community clean. A scout is reverent. A scout is reverent towards God and the manner taught by his faith. He is faithful in his religious duties. He respects the differing beliefs of others. Next, I would like to call up Ron Vigu to do a reading on the history and significance of the Eagle Badge. History of the Eagle Scout Award. The appeal of the Eagle has been felt by every person from prehistoric times to today. To Egyptians, the Eagle was the messenger of the gods and the sun, a symbol of eternal life. To certain Native Americans today, it stood for valor and as a pledge of victory. For Americans today, the eagle is the living symbol of all courageous 
and freedom-aspiring Americans. So when the Eagle Scout Awards Medal was designed in 1912, it was decided that a small silver eagle would be suspended from a tricolor ribbon of red, white, and blue. The medal remains the same today. About the medal, honor is the foundation of all character. Being trustworthy is the first point of the scout law for a reason. On the Eagle Scout Award, it is represented by white. The blue of the Eagle Scout Award inspires the Eagle Scout's loyalty, which extends beyond his family, troop, and friends to his school, community, and nation. The red reminds the Eagle Scout of courage. To a scout, bravery means not only the courage to face physical danger, but the, but the determination to stand up for what is right. Eagle Scouts are charged with continuing their quest by becoming even better citizens and leaders by continuing to live by the Scout Oath and Scout Law. We thank all the Eagle Scouts for their service to scouting, their communities, and the nation. I would like to introduce our next speaker, Mr. Raines, to read The Legend of Eagle Mountain. The Legend of Eagle Mountain. Early one morning, a young boy stood at a trailhead. Before him rose a mighty mountain, which seemed all the mightier when compared with his smallness. A trail led to the mountain and then up it to incredible heights before vanishing into the clouds. On this trail, the boy could see other boys and young men, some of whom turned and beckoned him to follow. The boy began to climb, refusing perhaps to believe that he could ever reach the top. At first, the trail rose gently and the boy had many companions, but soon he began to sweat and breathe heavily, and many of his companions turned away, and the boy still climbed. At times he climbed quickly, at times he climbed slowly. At times he had to go down a little ways to find another path, or stop a while to catch his breath, but still he climbed. The trail became steeper, the air became thinner, but the climber scarcely noticed, for he had, along the way, become stronger of body and hardier of spirit. And still he climbed. And finally, in the cool peace of evening time, he stood alone at the top of the world and looked around him. To the left, he saw a fiery golden sunset. To the right, he saw a diamond-studded, silky-black night sky. Behind him, he saw the trail that he had followed and the hikers who were following his footsteps. And in front of him, he saw another mountain, and another, and another, and a whole procession of mountains marching off to the horizon. But the young man, for now he was a man, knew that none of these other mountains were insurmountable, that all could and would be climbed. For he had learned many skills in the climbing of that first mountain, and he would carry those skills with him long after this mountain was gone. And besides, he could begin climbing the next mountain tomorrow 
Today he would rest and celebrate and ponder the journey that he had completed. And so today, we pause to rest and celebrate and honor this fine young man, Eagle Scout Jarrett Richard, as he stands at the top of the world and looks around. It is now time for the highlight of our program, the Eagle Scout Awards Ceremony. Would the honor guard please escort Jarrett to the front? Jarrett, stop it. <laughs> Jarrett, at this court of, as this court of honor began tonight, you watched your fellow scouts light candles, scouts light candles to the words of the scout oath that you have repeated many times in your scouting career. Now you will repeat a new oath, the Eagle Scout promise. Though the words you say are similar to those you've said so many times before, Tonight they will mean more to you than they ever have. When you pledge yourself on your sacred honor, you will be sealing your oath with the words which closed the Declaration of Independence. I would now invite all Eagle Scouts in the audience to stand at this time and rededicate themselves by repeating the Eagle Scout promise with our new Eagle Scout. Please make the scout sign and repeat after me. I reaffirm my allegiance. I reaffirm my allegiance. To the three promises of the scout oath. To the three promises of the scout oath. I thoughtfully recognize. I thoughtfully recognize. And take upon myself. And take upon myself. The obligations and responsibilities. The obligations and responsibilities of an Eagle Scout. Of an Eagle Scout. On my honor, I will do my best. On my honor, I will do my best. To make my training and example. To make my training and example. My rank and my influence. My rank and my influence. Count strongly for better scouting. Count strongly for better scouting. And for better citizenship. And for better citizenship. In my troop. In my troop in my community, in my community, and in my contacts with other people, in my contacts with other people. To this I pledge my sacred honor. To this I pledge my sacred honor. Two. You may be seated. I would now like to invite Troop 313 Committee Chairperson Kathy Schweiger along with Jared's parents and his grandfather to please come forward. Jarrett, Jarrett over here, pay attention. <laughs> your family has undoubtedly been your primary source of strength and help. No one will ever know the unnumbered acts of self-sacrifice from them. At this time, I would like your mother to present and pin the Eagle Medal on your uniform.
Jarrett, in recognition of your mother's devotion, please present her with the Eagle Mother's pin. Jared, your grandfather has been the source of much advice and guidance along the Eagle Trail. So I would like him to present the Eagle Scout rank badge to you. I would now like to ask your father to remove your Troop 313 neckerchief and slide. Jarrett, in recognition of your father's devotion, please present him with the Eagle Father's Pin. I would now ask that Troop 313 Committee Chairperson Kathy Schweiger present Jarrett with his Eagle Scout neckerchief and Eagle Scout slide. And I wrote this in the program. And while she is putting that on him, I would like to read this declaration from the Boy Scouts of America. December 3rd, 2020, Jarrett Matthew Richard, 6 Woolly Lily, Wood Lily Lane, Berwick, Maine. Dear Jarrett, congratulations. You're now an Eagle Scout. In completing all the requirements, you've mastered many valuable skills and made the scout oath and law part of your life. What you've accomplished is impressive. It's also pretty rare. Fewer than seven out of every 100 scouts ever achieve this rank. It means you've dedicated yourself, put in the hours, and most importantly, found ways to benefit your community. Remember that your name now appears on an exclusive list whose members have excelled in fields from business to government to education. The common trait you all share is leadership. We're counting on you to aim high and continue leading by your service and example. Again, congratulations and best wishes for many more successes. Sincerely, National Chairman of the Boy Scouts of America, Dan Ownby. With that, you will receive this certificate that says the Boy Scouts of America are proud to award the rank of Eagle Scout to Jarrett Matthew Richard, Troop 313 Berwick, Maine, in recognition of successful completion of all requirements for scouting's highest rank. You might as well stay on your feet. Before I announce him, I will just give him his Eagle Scout membership card, which looks like a credit card, but it's not a credit card, even though he learned in personal management how to handle a credit card. So, having given Jarrett all of these things, it gives me great pleasure to present to you Troop 313's newest Eagle Scout, Jarrett Matthew Richard.
Garrett, you can stay up here. The rest of you, you may take your seats. Thank you very much. You may be seated. Before we hear from Jarrett, I'd like to invite Tony Sincotta to come up and read a declaration from the state of Maine. Congratulate Jared for this outstanding accomplishment. And I'd like for his mother to stand up to congratulate you too. Without that girl, this wouldn't be happening today. Thank you. All right, I have a note here from the State Representative Beth O'Connor, who could not be here today, and she says, Dear Richard family, I am so sorry I can't have a wonderful ceremony. I hope all goes perfectly. My very best to you, and thank you for contributing to our community in such a positive manner. Young man, this is from the State Legislature. And it says, Be it known to all that we, the members of the Senate and the House of Representatives, join in recognizing Jared Richard of Burick, a member of 313, who has attained the high rank and distinction of Eagle Scout. This is the highest award in scouting and is given for excellence in the skills development, leadership, personal growth, and community service. We extend our congratulations and best wishes, and be it ordered that this official expression of sentiment be sent forward on behalf of the 130th legislature and the people of the state of Maine. Now, I have a surprise for Jarrett. I would like to invite Commander Brian English from American Legion Post 79 to come up and make a presentation. Jarrett, it's an honor to stand here with you today. It's been a long, long time since I was at my Eagle Court of Honor. It was in 1975 and uh, I know how you feel. I have uh, two presentations to make. Uh, the, I'm proud to represent American Legion Post 79, the Charles S. Hash Post here in Berwick. And for every Eagle Scout from the town of Berwick that receives their reward, we do a, a gift, a grant of $100, which you've already received. But I have a certificate that goes along with that. I'd like to read that. The American Legion Certificate of Outstanding Achievement. This Certificate of Outstanding Achievement is presented to Jarrett Richard, Troop 313, Berwick, Maine, following his success in attaining the prestigious rank of Eagle Scout. Presented by the Charles S. Hatch Post 79, American Legion, Berwick, Maine. Signed by myself, Brian English, Commander. And that is not all. Jared has been an outstanding young man, and I want to say that his Eagle Scout project was of great service to the town of Berwick and honoring all the veterans. I ask if you have not been to the Veterans Park, go and visit the memorial there for Brenda Levine, who for many years took care of the park. And Jared was involved with a project to honor her after she passed away. And 
was instrumental in, in a, getting the park set up, having the dedication there, having the, did the groundwork, literally digging and organizing uh, the water to go in, did so much work along with his grandfather, Andy Buckman, who was instrumental in, in making that happen. And because of what he's done, we have a beautiful place there in the park honoring one who honored veterans. And for that, we as the, and the representative of the Post 79 have something special for you today. The Charles S. Hatch Post and American Legion had a 2021 Post Scholarship Award. It's my privilege to present the Corporal Thomas Michael Wright Award. I'd like to read a little bit about the honor that you're getting here. This was from one after my own heart, a Marine. Corporal Thomas Wright was a young corporal of Marines in the early 1940s. He was trained as a machine gunner and possessed of a peculiar trait. When he could not recall another person's name, he just called them Mike. Eventually, the other Marines decided that he should be Mike, and Mike he became. And to those who knew him, Mike he remains. Mike and his crew set up their machine gun on a little island in the South Pacific called Guadalcanal and began to take the fight to the Japanese. The Japanese mortar round struck the position, and the next thing Mike knew, he was in the dark. He was taken to a hospital ship, put on still another ship, and sent to a hospital near Philadelphia where his home was located. It was here that Mike was told he was blind and would never see again. Mike stated that he cried for a few days, then decided there were many people who had never seen the world about them, and they were able to get on with their lives. He decided he could do the same. His days grew brighter when he met a pretty young pharmacist mate from Ghana, New Hampshire. He came home to Ghana with Mary Louise to meet her parents and decided this was the area to spend the rest of his life. He and Mary Louise married, raised their family on a farm on Cemetery Road in Berwick. Mike typified the can-do attitude that is so prevalent within the Marine Corps. They are taught to believe there is nothing they cannot do. And as a result, there is little that they do not accomplish. So it was with Mike. For the rest of his life, he accomplished just about everything he attempted to do. He ran a farm, raised chickens, was commander, American Legion Post. Nothing was beyond his reach except the ability to regain his sight. It is this unshakable belief in oneself that we com commemorate and salute with this scholarship because you display these same traits yourself, Jared, and we're hoping that this would be an inspiration to you. So it's my privilege to present the Corporal Thomas Wright Scholarship in the amount of $500 to Jarrett Richard on behalf of American Legion Post 79. Good luck. But wait, there's more. If you like that, you're really going to like this. I would like to invite up now Mel Kenny from VFW Post 5744 to make a very special announcement. Thank you, Rick. You're very welcome, Mel. Sorry, I'm late. I apologize, uh, apology for getting here a little bit late today. The side of the room has been awful quiet since I've been here. Uh, just two weeks ago, Jared was in South Berwick with uh, five other Eagle Scouts that the VFW kind of honored, along with some SA folks. I think we handed out $1,400 that day. But I had. Uh, I had two Eagle Scouts that competed for the Department of Maine Eagle Scout of the Year. And uh, Jared blew the socks off of the person he was competing against from South Burrow. 
I think part of the scout motto is to be prepared. Is that right, Jared? All right. Uh, Jared is prepared. I'm, I'm very honored to announce today that Jared won the district level of Scout of the Year and then went on to the Department of Maine for Scout of the Year. And he was selected for the Department of Maine or the State of Maine to go on to national to compete with 53 other departments. Now this is a scholarship program that the uh, VFW offers. And uh, Jared, I'd like to congratulate you on being selected for the Department of Maine. I've got a letter that I'd like to read and then I'll read the certificate also. I have to put cheaters on. All right. This is from the Department of Maine chair, uh, Chairman, and I can hardly see it. Dear Jared Richard, I write to congratulate you on being awarded Scouts, Scouting's highest award, that of an Eagle Scout. It's clear that you are held in high esteem by your teachers and community leaders. And your achievements across a broad range of activities is very impressive. Today's world is one where the values and comradeship, community spirit, selfless giving are less celebrated than they once were, which was why our organization, such as scouting, are so important. I, along with the FW Post 5744, salute your achievement and wish you every success in the world, having achieved the rank of Eagle Scout. The doors are fully open for you to take advantage of what we will hope that you will take every advantage that is presented to you in the future. Thank you for participating in the Scout of the Year. This year, with the Veterans of Foreign Wars, it was a pleasure learning about you through your preparation. The certificate reads, Veterans of Foreign Wars, Scout of the Year participant, awarded to Jared Richard. In recognition for your participation in the National Scout of the Year contest. This citation honors you and a stellar example of citizenship, extraordinarily service, and exemplary character in keeping with the highest standards of the Scouts and the Veterans of Foreign Wars of the United States. We don't know the results yet at National. The scholarship is a $3,000 first place, $2,000 second place, and $1,000 for the third place winner. You're in it. Along with the scholarship, we have a, a scouting pin from the VFW that is authorized to wear on your uniform. I also have a medal uh, that uh, is presented by National. That can be worn on your uniform also. And Rick, you might verify that on the medal. Okay, if you wish, please. Yeah. So again, Jared, congratulations. He's prepared. Derek is prepared. He's ready for the next step. I'm positive of that. I've, I've got to learn this young man very quick. And uh, not everybody can achieve what he's achieved. So I congratulate you on behalf of uh, the VFW, the South Brook VFW, and the other four troops that uh, we work with. So congratulations, Jerry. Leave this here for you. And 
now it's about time we hear from Jared himself. So my first presentation will be my of my mentor pins. So my first mentor pin is going to someone who has been there since the beginning of my scouting experience. This person was de dedicated to helping me and my den advance through the rank of Cub Scouts. She planned all our activities and would bring us to Camp Nutter for day camp and all our other events. She kept us engaged in learning new things and she made us all want to be there and learn more about scouting and was instrumental in the den achieving their arrow of light. I would like to give my first pin to Andrea Gould, my den leader. So you can come up and I'll come up. This next person is undoubtedly a great person, leader, and friend. He always has something to say about everything, whether it's helpful or sarcastic. I knew I could always go to him for anything, and he would always give me guidance. He has dedicated a lot of time to scouting in Troop 13, dating back to when he rode dinosaurs, Mr. Reigns. <laughs> Uh, whose turn is it? Topher. Oh, no, it's my turn. Uh, and now I'd like to invite Mr. Reigns to come back and give a Scoutmaster's Minute. So a Scoutmaster's Minute is a misnomer because I have never spoken for a minute or less in my life. Um, but Jarrett forgot something. Even though he's prepared, he forgot something. And now I'm going to give this back to him so he can take care of it. All right. I have two more pins to give out to my grandparents, Judy and Andy. So if you'd like to come up, these two pins are going to people who have been uh, they are since my beginning. They brought me to many events and have supported me throughout my whole life and scouting experience. They have taken me on many camping excursions and hikes that got me ready for scouts. They have also been there for me and I just want to say thank you to, to you. Now I'd like to call Mr. Wayne. You done? Yeah. Okay. If you ask a boy what Boy Scouting is all about, they'll tell you that it's about camping and making fire and playing with knives 
they'll actually say playing with knives. <laughs> they don't play with knives. They learn proper knife safety, and they have to earn a tote and chip before they're allowed to use a knife or a woods tool. But really, scouting is about something else. Scouting is about teaching personal character, citizenship, and physical fitness. And we do that by tricking them by going camping and building fires and playing with knives. <laughs> they also earn a whole lot of merit badges, and if I ask them right now to list 10 of them, they might think of two or three. But in those merit badges is where they really learn a lot about what's going on in the world and how to do different things. I wrote down a little speech that I'd like to read from now with maybe a little bit of ad lib. And I did that so that we're not here till tomorrow. I've been involved in the Boy Scouting program as the Scoutmaster for Troop 313 for the past 16 years. I've seen countless boys come through this program and all have benefited from what it has to offer. And while each boy has their own distinct personality, some really grab the program and run with it, while others simply enjoy what they like and leave the rest. It's easy for me to look back and see that Jarrett Richard is clearly one of those boys who wholeheartedly and enthusiastically embrace this program. It would be easy to say that the Boy Scout program turned Jarrett into a fine young man that he is today. But the truth is that Jarrett was born and raised as a kind soul before he ever showed up in my Boy Scout troop. And it was his presence that enhanced our program as much as our program enhanced him. The scout law states that a scout is trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, kind, obedient, cheerful, thrifty, brave, clean, and reverent. If you substitute the word scout in that law with Jarrett, it would be just as true. The scout oath says that on my honor I will do my best to do my duty to God and my country, to obey the scout law, to help other people at all times, to keep myself physically fit, mentally awake, and morally straight. That pretty much sums up how Jarrett lives. This young man thrived on learning everything he could about scouts and skills and the adventures that it offered. He embraced leadership roles and learned about how tough it can be to be a leader. Through trial and error, he learned different ways to approach a multitude of challenges. He learned both in success and in failure how to deal with life on life's terms and how to get other boys to follow his direction even when they clearly didn't want to. Jarrett has a wonderful family who supported him throughout his scouting career. But it was entirely up to Jarrett to do everything needed to advance in the program. Jarrett eagerly earned merit badges and completed advancements, which culminated in his earning the rank of Eagle Scout which I know he is incredibly proud of, but humbled as well. I define character to the boys as doing the right thing when nobody is looking. And there is no doubt in my mind that Jarrett does exactly that. I counted on Jarrett many times to not only lead, but also to teach the younger scouts the things that he learned and carry on the tradition of scouting. He was always willing to carry the torch and help the newer scouts. He is one of the most polite and kind scouts I've ever had the pleasure of dealing with. There is no big ego in Jared. He will help anybody doing anything at any time, just because. He is simply that boy that everyone who ever meets him would say, what a nice young man. 
He has a great sense of humor. And he and I developed an interesting relationship around that humor. We would banter back and forth with compliments and criticisms, all the while knowing that there was a deep respect between the two of us. There was never an unkind word said by either of us that wasn't completely understood to be a joke and for fun. One incident comes to mind that I wasn't even a part of, but Jarrett found a way to bring it into our bantering. During one of our countless outdoor activities we participated in, my fiance Karen, seated over there, volunteered to be a driver of scouts to the event, and as luck would have it, I guess, Jarrett was in her car. I was driving my truck with other scouts. We traveled one car behind the other, but sometimes we got spread out and lost sight of each other. And during this trip, Karen lost sight of my truck and began to fake whine and say, I want my Ricky. That's me. This quickly turned into a meme, if you will, inside their car, and I have been playfully yet painfully jabbed by Jarrett with the I want my Ricky line ever since. <laughs> a couple of Jarrett's accomplishments during his scouting career in 2017, we went to the National Jamboree in West Virginia, and Jarrett came along for two weeks doing Boy Scouting on steroids, and it was an amazing experience. It was on that jamboree that Jarrett met Miss Heidi O'Donnell, a scouter who we both appreciate, respect, and love because she embodies the scout law and oath as much as any scout. Two years later, Jarrett went to the Philmont Scout Ranch with Heidi in New Mexico to hike in the Rocky Mountains for 12 days with nothing but a backpack and everything they needed with some other scouts. I know that that was an amazing experience because I've been myself and I was very proud, not only that Jarrett went, but that Heidi was along with him. There is no doubt in my mind that Jarrett will go on to great things in life, whatever he decides to do. That he will enhance the lives of those around him and continue to live his life by the Scout Oath and Scout Law. It has been an absolute honor to have had Jarrett in my troop, to get to know him, to watch him grow, and to see how our troop benefited from his presence. Now that Jarrett Richard is an adult, instead of him being just one of my scouts, he is one of my friends. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, thank you all for coming and participating in this wonderful event. Let's give our Eagle Scout one more final round of applause. I now call on Jarrett to give our benediction. Now that I am an Eagle Scout, and I look back down the trail I've trod, I see what scouting's all about, and I've offered, offered this humble prayer to God. I know the Eagle Badge isn't the end. It's the silver rays of light a new height to ascend. I know I could never have gotten this far, without help from others who served as my stars. So I thank you, Lord, for my chance to be a patriot proud in the land of the free. Thank you for home and churches and schools. Thank you for parents and teachers and rules. Thank you for leaders who understand, who always stand ready to give me their hand. Thank you to, thank, let me share 
with all people my gift as they grow, for I must try to repay the great debt that I owe. Let me treat everyone as my sister or brother, and reward each good turn by doing another. Make me fight a good battles. Though weary and scared, let me meet every crisis by being prepared. Give me the wisdom and honor and courage to do the things that are always pleasing to you. Remind me if I ever, if ever I start to stray. The other eagles in khakis have paved my way. Their ghosts are watching and waiting to see that I live up to all the expected from me. If I should falter and, and fall toward the ground, stretch forth your arm so I won't let them down. Write your purpose upon my willing heart with a finger that's typed in fire. I have already gotten a good head start. Help me to climb even higher. I promise to strive for a worthy goal that I know to be solid and right. Lift up my wings and nourish my soul as I dare the eagle's flight. Chart me in course that's straight and true which with the scout oath in law as my guide. Teach my body and mind and heart what to do so you can smile down on me with pride. Keep me sharp as the edge of the whittling knife to cut through the darkness and doubt. Let me never forget as I soar through life that I am an Eagle Scout. Amen. Again, thank you all for coming. Please stay and enjoy some refreshments. With my heart a thousand times I'm still with everyone Voices like a mountainside Continue on my only one